Hello my sweet sweet stars, welcome back. I am so sorry but I could have sworn to put a video out to you on Sunday and I absolutely did not so I'm sorry that this is a delayed video getting it back to you. So what we're going to do today is what's on their mind about you. So we're going to go into your specific person's energy and we're going to have a look what is going on in their mind about you so i've got two decks to pick from these are both brand new decks and um, this one i fell in love with at the conference this is tower of the abyss um absolutely beautiful beautiful imagery beautiful deck and um, i thought it was beautiful how many times can you say beautiful in the sentence and this one is the orisha's tower okay so deck number one and deck number two think about you think about your person and as you're thinking about your person i want you to feel that heart-centered energy towards them and push it into the deck that you are most drawn to number one Number two, let's go. So you know it by now, it's in the mutual energy between you all. Um, and Halloween is coming, Samhain is coming. So the energy between you guys at the moment is absolutely fabulous. You can really feel the veil closing uh, between the two worlds as the energy is building up. So we're very magical reading today. Think about your person for me, we get into your personal thoughts and energy. And let's see what's going on. So, so my loves, what is on your person's mind about you? What are they specifically, what is specifically on their mind about you? We'll have those two together because they did jump out together. Two, what is on, wait, you've got loads flying around everywhere. Three, four, and I'm gonna stop at five. Well, because those two jumped out together. Okay, right, let's have a look what's going on. What have we got? So let me just show you the cards so you guys know, for those of you that read tarot, you've got the Seven of Court Swords and the Queen of Pentacles over here. Uh, they jumped together. You have got the Nine of Cups. You've got the Four of Cups. You've got the Empress. And you've got the Moon. Okay, so right off the bat, this person is really keeping their emotions on the down low for you. They have a lot of feelings. They have a lot of hope about this moving in the right direction, things transforming and merging between you both. But they're keeping it on the down low. So you guys are probably not knowing how your person is feeling about you or not entirely sure what they're thinking about you at the moment. That is the overall feeling of these cards. Now, where are we going? So the reason why they're keeping it on the down low is where we'll start as the cards jumped out, the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So your person is seeing you in this very maternal energy. They're seeing you as um, a family person, a family uh, connection, that this is, you are someone that they could spend the rest of their lives with. They're someone that they could build with. Um, but it's like they have a bit of a spook on it, okay? And with the Seven of Swords coming up, this is the element of deception. So why deception is coming into this is because they're a little bit spooked by the connection between you both. They have very strong feelings. They have very strong emotions. But it's like they're scared to take the next steps forward in this connection. And um, the reasons why, let's have a look why they're scared to make these next steps. Yeah, so you can see, so the next steps with the page of cups over here and they've really got the mask down in front of their eyes. It's like, I wanna make these moves towards you. I wanna tell you how I'm feeling, but I'm wearing a mask over my eyes and I'm not gonna quite do it. So what is the reason for all these fears? Wait, I'm slip. Okay, so page of cups, knight of cups, really, really interesting energy over here. Um, so the reason why they have this mask on and they're not really allowing you into their heart at the moment is because they have got feelings for you, which sounds really counterproductive, I know. But their feelings actually freak them out a little bit. So there is movement here from the page to the knight. There is a progression route between the two of you. It's just that they have to allow this mask that they are wearing to drop. They are lying to themselves about their feelings for you at the moment because they are scared of love. They're frightened of love. So it could be that they've been hurt in the past. It could be that, um, you know, the idea of set settling down, being in this kind of queen of pentacles energy and the stable, secure energy with you, it freaks them out um, because it means that they've got to change aspects of their life. So there is this kind of element of them wearing a mask, but the reason is because of love, okay? So they have got very strong feelings for you. 
The other side of things over here with the Four of Cups and the Empress. Now, normally the Four of Cups does not signify pregnancy, but as you can see from these cards, there is a pregnant baby in this tummy. And then with the Empress as well, she also is symbolizing pregnancy. So this is two ways of reading this for you guys. This is either the, um, they hope for the family unit, they hope for pregnancy, there could be children involved in this connection, or, or, it's the new birth of the relationship between the two of you, okay? So we know that they're scared of their emotions, but we know that they wanna make moves towards you. And those moves towards you are showing this kind of very stable family, secure energy over here. They are worried that the situation won't quite turn out the way that they are envisaging, envisaging, spirit saying it. The envisaging of this relationship is the two of you being together. Um, they are scared of the shadow aspect of it. And also with the moon next to this as well, it's like relationships in the past of them haven't quite worked out how they wanted it to. I almost feel like a lot of your people in their past relationships have put their heart on the line, expressed to the person how they are feeling, expressed to them what they want from the connection and it hasn't gone the distance and they've ended up heartbroken. And this is another reason why they're wearing this mask now, the flip side of this, like this is a bit of a shadow side, the flip side of it is it looks like they will take a risk. They will take the jump, especially with the page and knight of cups jumping out together from the element of this could work to I'm going to make this work. This wall, this guard that they're wearing will drop um, and this will then bring the connection forward. OK, so where they have been freaking out over it all that is going to kind of fall at the wayside and you can progress this forward with them. And again, why it's happening, probably um, being hurt in the past, um, scared of love because of old wounds. And it might not even be this life wounds, it could be past life wounds. If you need a past life reading, give me a shout. But it could be like karmic energy, past life wounds, trauma bonds, any of that energy um, could be what is stopping your person from moving things forward with you. With the moon card right next to it, it's like they're scared of the shadows and I can't, can I make a shadow on this wall? So normally how me and you would have a hand in the day and then you put it to the wall and obviously you kind of see the claw and I, I don't know if I can make it work. You see the claw rather than the hand. This is what your person is afraid of. So whereas me and you would, uh, would see love, they see the kind of claw, they're seeing the very much the shadow side of the relationship between you guys at the moment. But there is going to be a shift in this. There is going to be a shift towards you. So let's have a look at what's going to cause... <laughs> These cards love you. What's going to cause the shift? Spirit saying really clear to me, they're going to break the cycle. With the King of Swords jumping out next to you, uh, the Three of Pentacles, this is talking about them actually really communicating their emotions towards you. What's going to happen for that to happen is it's, they're going to work it all through in their head. They're going to stop being so afraid of the shadows and really start embracing them and realising, you know what, this is actually worth a shot because my emotions for you are really, really, really strong. Where's my Knight of Cups gone? Here it is. My emotions for you are really, really strong. So once they've let this mask down, that is when they will come towards you. I'm finishing it off with the Nine of Cups over here, as above, so below. Um, what's transferring in the 5D down to the 3D, okay? Up above, so below. Your connection will work in the longer term as it progresses forward. So when we look what's on their mind about you as an overall kind of summary, is there a lot, they're really into you. They have very, very strong emotions for you. They are wearing a mask because a lot of them have been hurt in the past. OK, they can see that they've got a future with you. We've also got children coming into this, whether this is birth of a new relationship, birth of the same relationship um, or physical children. You have that connection moving forward with your person. They are going to let this mask drop because they're going to work it through in their head. They're going to start embracing the shadow side, realising that love conquers all and make those moves towards you. And that will then bring about this happy family, nine of cups, all your wishes coming true and all their wishes coming true. Your energies aligning with one another. And that is step number one. So if you need me, drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or find me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, just mysticlovetarot and you can DM me on there. And that is step number one. Okay, so let's do deck number two. I'm just going to have a bit of a spray of my darling Keridwen's essence uh, as we step into Sawain and um, really strongly around us today. And uh, Lord, I do love my, my darling Keridwen. 
Okay, so deck number two, let's go. Brand new deck, first reading that it's done is for you guys today. So we're gonna see what is on your person's mind about you. What is specifically running through their mind about you? Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. Our spirit just counted you into that. Let's go. So what is going through their person's mind, collective energy about you? So we've got two jumping together, so we best have both of them. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, okay. <laughs> right, Queen of Swords, let's have a look. What's happening in your person's mind about you? Okay, so what's happening there? Why I just stopped is because I was just listening to the spirit often give me songs of me being clear audience. I literally hear the songs coming through my right ear and I just had to work out what tune it was. Um, and it was from, it was an Eminem song and it was, um, I want to say Mockingbird where they say where you know they're your soul and they're your armor and you would destroy anyone that tried to harm her so those specific lyrics coming in for you so i know that song is about children so if that doesn't resonate to you and the song's being specifically about children relating with your person what this is saying is that your person is trying to protect this situation at the moment in time so perhaps their actions with you guys have been a little bit negative perhaps they've been a little bit forthcoming perhaps they've been a little bit painful but they are on a bit of self-protect and they are also trying to protect you as well and coming up first and foremost of you guys so what's on their mind about you Wow. Okay. So we have got quite a heavy load of cards here. We know with that song, they are trying to protect the situation at this moment in time. They're trying to protect you and they are also trying to protect their heart. So let me show you what we've got. You've got this Justice and Seven of Wands jumping out together. You've got the Ten of Swords. Where is it? Ten of Swords. You've got the Queen of Swords and they've got the King of Swords. Your energies are a mix match and we've got strength riding in the middle between you guys absolutely beautiful cards aren't they so where you are at the moment now i'm actually going to start with these cards at the bottom like i said there is a bit of a mix match of your energies at the moment your person has hurt you they've potentially said things to you which has made you take a step back from the situation which has made you feel that you've been abandoned left alone hurt kind of spirit saying poisoned you feel that this connection and how beautiful it was has really um been put on a bit of a detriment that it's really on a lower vibration at this moment you are feeling very very hurt from the situation and your person's actions will be what has caused that so you are in this queen of swords energy at the moment and you're not really sure what to do about the situation your person has been on self-protect and um, the reason why it's gone the way it has is because they have been trying to protect themselves and equally protect you. With the seven of wands and justice coming up in the background, again, this is kind of saying to you, at the moment, they are pushing you away. They've pushed you away at this point in time. And that is where this painful energy is coming up and your mix match. You're both trying to keep strong at this moment in time. And it's like... Spirit is saying really clearly two sides of a coin. It's like one of you's on the queen, the queen. One of you's on the heads and one of you's on the tails and you're just not quite singing off the same hinge sheet. And because there has been a lot of pain and there has been a lot of karmic energy with justice over the top, um, this situation is feeling a little bit heavy. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, God, that sounds like me. This is a very kind of heavy energy going on with you guys. So when we're looking at what is going on in their mind, first and foremost, it is that they have been trying to protect you. They've been trying to protect them. Um, they've probably said some things that were a bit mean and nasty. Um, or if they haven't, they might have just gone ghost and, and left you feeling this very kind of painful energy. Now, what Spirit is saying really clearly, as I'm saying this to you, is they're saying the word remorse. So I was saying to them, I know it's weird because I'm having conversations with them and with you all at the same time. 
So Spirit's saying remorse. I was saying to them, do they regret how they've handled this? Do they regret what they've done? And they said very, very clearly the word remorse. But because they are stubborn and because they are, you know, protecting their heart at the moment, they aren't quite backtracking. They're staying stumped. They're like, right, I've made my choice. I'm going to stay in this energy because this is the right thing to do. You know, it's all gone peak tongue. It's too much drama. It's too much stress. I'm freaking out over it. Um, and they are panicking. So I'm actually going to step into a future energy and let's see what's going to happen next with you guys. What's going to happen next? Okay. What's going to happen next between the two of them? I know this is not the question, but I want to see where we're going. Okay, and have we got movement back? Yeah. Okay. So if you're worried that this situation is over for good and that you're never going to speak again and that they've vanished into the sunset, you do not need to fret because there is a returning. And with that, I just got uh, the song from the Goddess Temple in Glastonbury, Returning by uh, Jennifer ben Beresman, I want to say. I might be wrong on that. <coughs> Sorry, that spirit coming really deeply into my energy. Um, so there is a returning of the connection between the two of you. So not all hope is lost, even though it feels like that at this moment in time. I'm actually going to flip the deck around. Yeah. So where you are feeling stuck at this moment with the Eight of Swords, there is movement back to you. And there is still hope that this will progress in the right direction. Why I'm saying that. OK, so you've got the full. So what will happen? With this connection, and I know this isn't the question, are you on their mind? <laughs> but I, I've spirit of taking me down a different route, so we're going to go with it, okay? So the fool making this movement towards you, making a jump where they have not quite processed their actions and how they could have hurt you, this will be a jumping back towards you. And I'm really just staring at my parents because I'm recording at my parents' house, I'm looking down and the number 444 is right in front of me. And the number 444 is a, a sign of family. It's a sign of um, the family connection. So even though you're feeling in this very, very heavy energy and this heavy place with the full and the star also next to it coming round, OK, the situation is going to do a 180. And why it's going to do a 180? Well, we've got a very strong emphasis on love. So the love cards coming up in the next bit. Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups. OK, lots of love, lots of very strong emotions for you. And this is going to be what makes them backtrack on this ten of swords okay so even though they've left it at the moment they will backtrack and the reason will be love and they're gonna with the empress coming up this is almost like the flipping of the energy so they're actually going to step into this empress energy they are going to suddenly realize how much they've hurt you what damage they could have done to you how painful it has been and they're going to offer you some form of nurturing they're going to reach out they're going to speak to you and um, especially with the star that's really showing the reaching out energy between you guys they're going to reach out towards you make that leap of faith and see how you are and that will be the emphasis on love so with the cups energy coming up here they will reach out and they will offer you love OK, now what you do from there is going to be completely up to you guys. Can you forgive this pain, this self-protect energy that's caused this situation to spiral? These big towers, these little towers, wherever your situation has led you, this pain that's been caused. You've got this movement back towards you, but it's like, can you forgive the past to move forward into the future? You know, um, because there is a lot of pain there is a lot of pain so i'm actually going to go back to the start and i'm going to ask what is specifically on their mind about you and i'm just going to get three because we know that they're they're kind of again i'm pushing you away i'm focusing on myself and then i'm just going to sweep in and suddenly think about everything think about my actions think about what happens when that's going to happen is in the longer periods of silence so when you guys aren't talking to each other at night times car drives and um, all that kind of energy, songs that remind uh, them of you, you of them of you, all that, date, specific dates, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, passings, all that energy is what is going to be what flicks them into this empress nurturing energy. It's going to be this longing, this yearning, this missing, and that will connect them with you. So when we're looking at what's on their mind about you, at the moment we have this self-protect, having a bit of a breather. I'm going to just take a step back from the situation. 
but like I said, in the longer times, in the darker nights of the soul, this is where the energy flips. The Ace of Wands. Phoenixes rising from the ashes and the Empress. So, yeah, at this moment in time, there is, an, there is yeah, Spirit said there's a remorse. There is a remorse going through their mind. They're, they're regretting how they've handled the situation. They're not quite backtracking yet, but in the near future, that is going to be happening. You guys are going through this very you know, sad, heavy period, um, things feeling very, very strong um, for you in your emotions. Um, when it feels like all hope is lost and that we're not going to speak to you again, that is where the communication will come through for you. Um, they are missing you. They are longing for your touch and longing for speaking to you, but they are staying stubborn at this moment in time. So if you did reach out to them at right now, you're probably not going to get much of a reply or it might be one worded. But after that, that is when that communication will reignite between the two of you once they've had this downtime to really miss you and realise that every action has a reaction and every reaction has an action and that they've caused a great deal of pain. And when they realise that and they embrace that, that is when they'll be moving towards you. When they step into this Empress energy, she's here again. When they step into this Empress energy, they are going to feel awful for how they've treated you, for how this has worked out. And they're going to come to you and offer you love, say, I'm so sorry, I missed you um, and express their emotions. And I do feel there'll be a few tears. And with that, I am getting, uh, who likes Endobs? <laughs> you remember Endobs? I don't know if it's just an England thing. Um, Dappy from Endobs, he sang a song called I Owe You. And that coming through really, really strongly. Um, and if you have a listen to the lyrics of that, when your person does come back to you, that is the energy they're going to be stepping in. Um, yeah, I can't remember the specific lyrics of that song. Just, I can hear it going round. I can hear it in my right ear, like literally like a radio. Um, uh, yeah, it says I owe you. Um, you know, I tried this on my own. Um, basically saying how they made a big mess up and how they, they'll always love you regardless of how they acted. Um, do have a listen to it. Dappy, I owe you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit chavvy. Um, it's a bit chavvy, but it's, it's a, I still think it's a beautiful song. Not heard it for years. In fact, I'm going to go and listen to it now before I do the next reading. Um, right, I love you all. Sorry for the delay. Like I said, it should have been Sunday, but I didn't realise. I'm an idiot. I forgot. Um, so just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com or Instagram, Facebook me if you need me. Uh, that's just mrlovetarot. You will find me. Lots of love, guys. Ciao, adios.